Hi guys, this is Rike and welcome, welcome everyone to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video. And I'm back for another vlog. So for today, we're going to have practice versant with me. And I'm happy because this would surely help you as you prepare for your versant test later. Before we continue, I'd like to remind everyone to please take note of the following tips for you to pass versant. First of all, you have to speak loud and clear. Second, please listen carefully and follow the instructions. Third, you need to be confident. Fourth, you have to avoid dead air and do not stutter. So, let's begin with part A, reading. In this task, all you need to do is to simply read the sentences that I will ask you to. Let's begin. Read sentence one. Read sentence five. Read sentence ten. Read sentence two. Read sentence four. Read sentence six. Read sentence eight. Read sentence twelve. Read sentence three. Part B. Repeat sentence. Here, all you need to do is to repeat exactly what I will say. Of all the places to travel, Japan is at the top of my list. I would prefer if you could call my cell phone rather than my landline next time. Solar power is going to replace coal and oil as our primary energy source in the near future. Once you know all the elements, it's not difficult to pull together a sentence. We all agreed. It was a magnificent evening. Open the jar carefully. Martha Nico and Alex are on the same comedy. Cats are incredibly intelligent creatures, but nowhere near as friendly and affectionate as dogs. My parents and I went to a movie. Part C. Short answer question. All you need to do is to give a simple answer, one word if possible, to the question. Number one. What would you call a sanctuary for birds? Two. On February the 29th, what is the next day? Three, from time to time, I get a call from charity. Do they call every day or do they call occasionally? Four. 
four, if you heat water, does it become warmer or colder? Five, what do you call the main body of a tree? Six, which is a bird? A partridge or porridge? Number seven, what do you use to write on a blackboard? Number eight, would a baby sleep in a shed or a crib? Number nine, which is a good conductor of electricity, rubber or metal? Number 10. What do you call a large fish tank? Part D. Sentence build. Rearrange the jumbled phrases in an order that will make sense. Number 1. A three course, we had meal. A three course, we had meal. Two, with us, Brad came to dinner. With us, Brad came to dinner. Three. He fish tacos loves. He fish tacos loves. Four, to understand so much there is. To understand so much there is. Five, would you with me like to travel? Would you? with me like to travel six loves to sing hill song praise and worship music loves to sing hill song praise and worship music Seven, for the train waited Joe. For the train waited Joe. Eight, Austin in Texas, the bus took. Austin in Texas, the bus took nine ran and jumped the children all over the playground ran and jumped the children all over the playground
Number 10. For breakfast, cereal or toast, would you like? For breakfast, cereal or toast, would you like? Part E. Story Retelling. In this task, you will be listening to a brief story and are then asked to describe what happened in your own words. You have 30 seconds to respond to each story. You are encouraged to tell them as much as the story as you can, including the situation, characters, actions, and ending. Retell the story based on how you understood it within 30 seconds. Story 1 A long time ago, a little boy was walking through a park. In the middle of the park, there was a tree with a sign on it saying, I'm a magic tree. Say the magic words and you will see. The boy tried to guess the magic words. He said, Abracadabra, Hocus Pocus, and Tantaran, but none of them worked. I repeat, A long time ago, a little boy was walking through a park. In the middle of the park, there was a tree with a sign on it saying, I'm a magic tree. Say the magic words and you will see. The boy tried to guess the magic words. He said, Abracadabra, Hocus Pocus, and Tantaran. But none of them worked. You have 30 seconds to retell the story. Story 2 Papa Bunny and Mama Bunny brought Baby Bunny to a walk. What will you become when you grow up? asked Papa Bunny. He will be a policeman with many badges on his uniform and he will catch the bad guys and bring justice to people, said Mama Bunny. Oh no, he will be a magician. He will wear big hats and do incredible tricks, said Papa Bunny. I repeat, Papa Bunny and Mama Bunny brought Baby Bunny to a walk. What will you become when you grow up? asked Papa Bunny. He will be a policeman with many badges on his uniform and he will catch the bad guys and bring justice to people, said Mama Bunny. Oh no, he will be a magician. He will wear big hats and do incredible tricks, said Papa Bunny. You have 30 seconds to retell the story. Part F. Open Questions. In this task, you will be listening to spoken questions that elicit an opinion, and you will be asked to provide an answer with an explanation. You have 40 seconds to respond to each question. Question 1. 
What is your thought on states legalizing marijuana? I repeat, what is your thought on states legalizing marijuana? You have 40 seconds to respond. Question 2. Do you think television has had a positive or negative effect on family life? Please explain. I repeat. Do you think television has had a positive or negative effect on family life? Please explain. And there you have it guys, that is part A to F of Versant exam. I hope you are now ready and I hope that this video helped you as you take your Versant. Once again, this is Rike and I'm reminding you if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss my upcoming videos. And if you're watching this through my Facebook fan page, please don't forget to like, share, and hit the follow button so that you won't miss my upcoming uploads. Thank you so much for watching and you have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.